thanks for watching and I truly saved the best for last because here are two oh my god applications of Laplace's equation and they both have to do with Brownian motion so fourth application Brownian motion and in particular consider the following scenario so suppose you're in some region omega and you start at the point x comma y. So start at x comma y, x comma y, and then it's late at night, you may have partied too hard, and so perform Brownian motion. So random motion doo -doo 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 -doo, until you hit the wall at a certain point. Okay. So perform Brownian motion and then hit what's called the boundary a partial omega at some point x star y star hit boundary at x star y star and at this point you will either get a gain or a loss g of x star y star x star y star and think of this either the price you have to pay to the insurance for hitting the wall at this point so get gain or loss g of x star y star now notice this is a very random event because starting at the same point another person might hit the wall at some other point. X star y. So, in other words, it makes sense to consider the average gain starting at x comma y. Think in terms of insurance, in other words, the average price you have to pay to the insurance. And in particular, we can consider what's called the average value starting at x comma y, and that's what we call u. So once again, let u of x, y to be the average, or technically, if you know, probability expected value, gain or loss starting at x comma y, x comma y. So notice the only thing that changes is your starting position. And then the beautiful thing is this average payoff actually solves Laplace's equation. So fact, you solve the following in your region, it solves Laplace's equation in omega. And then on the boundary, u is just g. So once again, in your region, you have Laplace's equation. On the boundary, u is just g. And that's because if you start at the wall and you hit it, you immediately have to pay the price g. There's nothing random in that case anymore. So once again, what's amazing about this, it's really an unexpected uh, case where Laplace's equation appears. And in fact, there's quite an insane consequence of this, which I now wanna talk about. So here's an insane consequence. Suppose that your region omega is very crazy. Like think almost a fractal region, like it might look like this here, and here a little bit fractally, and maybe it goes like this. Like this, and let's make this super narrow, yeah. This, and then here's super, super narrow, and maybe here. Almost looks like an alligator, if you want. And suppose that at this point here, 
there is a little treasure. So let's call it X star I say. And the way we'll write this is, suppose our gain G is zero everywhere, except at this particular point where it's positive. Then it turns out, and I'll write it out very soon, no matter which point you start at, suppose I give you this point x comma y, there's actually always a way of attaining that treasure. Sort of like this. But even more is true, not only is there one way of getting that treasure, but I'll show that there are actually infinitely many ways of getting that treasure. So here's a cool fact. Suppose, first of all, our payoff is never a loss, so suppose g is always greater or equal to zero, and g is positive, at the point x star y star for some x star y star. One little thing, assume g is continuous, so it's really positive around that region. Then it turns out, and this is, we'll prove this in another video, u is positive everywhere. And in particular, compare this to infinite speed of propagation for the heat equation, which said that if an alien lights up a match light years away, then you immediately feel the effect of that heat. Same thing here. If there's a treasure light years away, there's always a positive chance of getting that treasure. So in other words, the consequence is no matter where you start, where you start, think at some point x, y, the average payoff is always positive. So in particular, there's always a positive chance of getting that treasure. There is always a positive chance of getting a treasure. So not only is there one way of getting the treasure, but actually infinitely many ways, because there's a fraction of this that you can attain. And even cooler than that, believe it or not, there is actually a similar interpretation for the heat equation, which I'll discuss now. So last application, heat equation. And this time we're dealing on the line. And for this, suppose you start at the point x, and at the time t. So this is your start. And then you perform Brownian motion as usual. So you walk a little bit like this. And at the fixed time, capital T, I tell you, stop. And you stop at the random point x star and I give you a gain or a loss, g of x star. Gain, loss. So, for instance, think of a marathon runner running a sprint, and they arrive at the random position, x star, at a certain point. And in particular, once again, it makes sense to consider the average payoff. So let u of x t be the average gain or loss 
starting at, at x and beginning time little t. And it turns out this function u once again solves the heat equation. So fact, u solves, so ut equals uxx in our region, but also at the time capital T, the gain is just g. So u of xt is g of x. And that's because if you start at the time capital T, you don't move at all because you already need to stop. And so the gain is really wherever you started at. And this is very interesting because usually we're dealing with initial value problems, but this is something called a terminal value problem. value problem. Because here we're specifying the time at the end and not at the beginning. So the way to visualize this here is we have time equals t, and maybe this is u of xt, and then inside we have the heat equation, ut equals uxx, and this is random, and at time equals capital T, then u is just g. Very, very cool. And in particular, remember, we have infinite speed of propagation, which is true here too, and has another insane consequence. So here, infinite speed of propagation Propagation says the following if again g is greater or equal to zero and g is positive somewhere, then u is positive everywhere. Everywhere. And once again, this is very cool if you think in terms of treasure, for instance. So in other words, suppose there is a point really, really far away where g is positive. So here we have x star and g of x star is positive. And suppose I give you a time very far away. So all this is far. And it really says, no matter what point you start with, and no matter how large the time, there is always a positive chance of reaching that point, x star. So once again, no matter what starting position and time, xt, there is always a positive chance of reaching x star. Always a positive chance of reaching x star. x star at t. In other words, you will always be able to find a runner that's so fast that they can reach X star at the time, capital T. And not only one runner, but really infinitely many runners, which is really, really insane if you think about this. All right, I hope you like this Laplace equation extravaganza. If you wanna see more, please check out the playlist. And of course, if you like this and wanna see more math, please make sure to subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much.